Like we've talked about before, Josephine, I think everything goes back to the relationships. And that, that's the foundation of everything that we do. And then, you know, it's, it's a shared ownership. And, and I think that uh, people want to feel like they're a part of something bigger than themselves. And when they do feel like their opinions matter, they're truly heard, but they're dealt with like grown men. Uh, you know, there's a mutual respect that exists between our players and our coaches. And it's all about us working in the same direction and, and figuring out it's not necessarily who's right, it's what's right. And, and that's what we try to be consistent with. Uh, but, but everything is foundationally driven in building and developing those relationships, getting to know these guys. And I think once you have that set, then that enables people to feel comfortable to be vulnerable. It opens up the lines of communication where you can give the clarity from a coaching standpoint. And the biggest thing with that communication is it's got to be clear, open, and honest, but it's also got to be ongoing. And it's easy to say that early on, uh, but there's a true commitment to it. And certainly, you know, what I appreciate so much is there's, whether it's players or coaches, they keep me accountable too. You know, I remember an instance a couple weeks ago with one of our coaches, and you kind of just get frustrated, and, and he had the, you know, presence to be able to say, hey, everything we do is predicated on communication and I stepped back and I said wow you're exactly right and I think when we've got that whether that's from our players or from our coaches that can create uh, a healthy culture that hopefully you can sustain some continuity and, and be able to navigate through the good and the bad.